All right, we're going to try something a little different here. Um, I just recently, as in a few hours ago, back to Kit Kickstarter. Geek Tank Games presents GTG Minis, premium plastic minis for tabletop RPGs. Now these are, uh, show some images here and then we'll get into their text. Basically I'm going to be doing a very quick run through of their Kickstarter copy, as it were, and uh, throw in their images. Maybe one of these days the channel will get big enough that people will send me some promo materials that I can use exclusively. But anyway, um, <clears throat> Malcolm Kane, a gamer from Austin, te Texas, and the founder of Geek Tank Games, is running this Kickstarter, and I will put a link in the description. Um, they've done two successful Kickstarters so far with uh, a Marshall Short over at Printable Heroes. Anyway, they have seven sets of miniatures. Now, these are really nicely illustrated they're f they're flat they're not three-dimensional miniatures but the artwork and design really makes up for that um these are not your standard flat cardboard monochromatic or maybe dual chromatic uh miniatures so <clears throat> And the first one up is the hero set. This set includes humans, gnome, gnomes, dragonborn, elves, and more. So yeah, it's it's, it's geared towards D and D, but you could adapt this to the fantasy trip or any other tabletop RPG. The next set is the elemental set, and I do like the way some of these elementals look. The elemental set includes fire, water, air, and earth elementals, along with cultists for each. Then you get the legendary set, and I'll go over the pledge levels in a little bit here. But in the legendary set, you have one dragon, a demon lord, a fire gi giant with hellhound, dragon turtle, and kraken. And you can see from these images that you they're printed on both sides. You get the, the front and the reverse, or as they used to say in the coin collecting, the obverse and the reverse, I think. The next up is the Wildland set. This set includes gnolls, goblins, orcs, ogres, lizard folk, hill giants, and an owl bear. Then, and I do really, I'm, I'm enjoying the graphics I've seen so far. The next set is the Underdark set. And this inclu includes myconids. All right, somebody down in the comments is going to yell at me about how I just pronounced that. Ropers, spiders, dugars. All right, another comment that somebody's gonna tear me to pieces over. Drow and Aboleth. I think I got that one. Maybe they're Aboleth, depending on your uh, regional dialect. Uh, I do like the mushrooms, and it looks like there's a gelatinous cube in there as well, which is always fun. <clears throat> the next one, which I do like actually, uh, or uh, fantasy trip uh, somebody noted that these miniatures are made for inch size squares and I think the current fantasy trip is inch and a half hexes and they were saying they might look a little small they're markers uh, so long as they aren't like 15 millimeter markers then uh, I think we're good but I do like this one for the doors, the bookshelves, because it says Urban Set includes bandits, balancers, nobles, merchants, city watch, and wear rats. But it also has like treasure chests, things, uh, doorways, archways, barrels, uh, stuff like that. That I don't think it matters really too much if it's inch or inch and a half scale. They would serve as really good markers in game. The next set is the Undead Set. And this includes zombies, ghouls, skeletons, wraith, vampires, a ghost rider, ghost rat, um, uh, and a graveyard elemental. And these guys look really, really good. And then there's a nice good picture coming up of a party encountering some of these undead. <clears throat> now, they do have stretch goals. Uh, 
and all unlocked minis will now be included as Kickstarter exclusives. So the stretch goals, with your help, we can make this fantasy a reality and we are offering some cool initiatives or incentives to bump the goal to new heights. Each stretch goal will unlock an additional mini design, some of which will be added to an existing set, while others will be included for Kickstarter backers only. So the social media stretch goal, they've reached all of them as far as shares. Um, 250 got you Krampus, and they unlocked that one, and that was the top one, and I am I I dig that. The oh, I like the mimic. The stretch goal block one was via funding, and they have unlocked 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. It's like the Red Baron song. 80. 85k 90 95k so the only one that's left to go is the 100k stretch goal stretch or block two uh once they so you reach 100k that unlocks all of stretch goals for block one block two starts at 110,000 and goes up to a pretty impressive piece for 200k stretch goals for block three have not been revealed <clears throat> All of the minis will be made of polyvinyl uh, and coated with a UV varnish to protect the ink. Our minis range from 1 inch small to 4 inch gargantu gargantuan and are sized for standard a standard 1 inch battle map. Like, just like our tabletop top tokens, the mini minis are flexible, super durable, waterproof, and scratch resistant. Mini made for many adventures to come. Now there are also going to have custom storage sheets for three ring binders and there will be an image of that showing how they work. They are crea uh, creating a custom storage sheet that can fit any three ring binder. With this the DM can now keep his monsters organized getting rid of boxes and basements full of 3D terrain and minis. These sheets will also fit our tabletop tokens terrain. Each she sheet is designed so that if it is turned upside down and not violently shaken it's kind of like the unbreakable comb. You can break it if you really try. Uh, the contents will remain in place. Imagine having a binder that has everything organized that is easy to store and transport. Shut up and take my money. They also want to produce some custom bases and they show one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch bases. Now the pledge levels. Each of our pledge levels are quantity based so you can choose the amount of mini sets that you want now and then select your specific sets after the campaign. Keep in mind that the three ring binder storage sheets and mini basis kits will be included in the selection process so make sure to account for them in your pledge level. So <clears throat> say that you are a, a geek who shall be or sh who shall remain nameless and you, you, you got one of each set. You went for the seven. Well, if I chose the storage sheets and the mini bases, I would only actually get five sets of mini. So keep that in mind. That's the way I'm reading this. During the campaign, the sets will start at $15 uh, per set with discounts starting at the fourth pledge level. Once these sets hit shelves, the retail price will be $19.99. So you're getting a discount. Even if you get one sheet, you're getting five bucks off. Get three sheets you're getting fifteen dollars off of what the retail set would be and they are very fine looking miniatures they will have a backer kit add-on system as well and uh, you can check their website for their shipping info and how that works as well and uh, we'll finish out i believe with an image of an adventure party of three and a dog crossing over what looks like some of their terrain sets as well. So I recommend you check this out if you're looking for a very uh, space efficient and mighty impressive looking set of markers uh, to use in your adventure campaigns, whether it's as uh, foes or as party markers. These look really good. So, <clears throat> let me go over the pledge levels real quick. So, 15 or more, you get one set. 30, you get two sets. Now, at 45, you get three. For 58, you get four sets, and you start to get the discount. 
at seven, you get five sets, which at $70, you get five sets. At 81, you get six sets. At 100 or more, you get eight sets. And, and like I said, if you if you pledge 91 or more, you, you get seven sets if you're, you know, a, a geek who shall remain. And then the, the sets go up, and they even have uh, sets for retailers as well. Go check the Kickstarter out if you would like to carry these and you are a shop owner. And I will also include the uh, link. It'll be on the, the Kickstarter page as well, but I'll include the link to their uh, video going over this as well. And uh, I think you should check it out. Anyway, if you like this... Uh, you know the spiel on YouTube. There's that whole click like, click the subscribe icon, click the bell icon, and all of that. And hopefully we will be back with uh, updates on this and uh, some other things as well. I still have some unboxings to do and some World of Warships videos that I need to get in the can and get on this channel. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. You have a good one and take care.